All right, this is uh, beehive number two, just came in the mail today. So this one I made a little bit differently. They had these bars and essentially what I did was, you have these bars that you make, kind of like this, and uh, knock all the bees into there. The queen's down in a box down in there. And then you put these little bars over top of it. See how they have this little extension on the end? I covered that in real beeswax. So the theory is that they should start building their comb onto that, just kind of like naturally. And then you just put these, uh, I made these space here so there's enough space in between them. Then you close it up. And uh, yeah, and then come back in a couple days, hopefully they uh, have food, or hopefully they start building comb. Yeah, you wanna get out right now, but I'm going to put this, put these back together. All right, watch out, Joel. Thank you. A little bee helper right there. Hope they don't smash them. Joel, do you want to go get the smoke real quick? Oh, right there. Hurry. I'm going to see if we can smoke these ones back down and to the bottom. Careful, it's hot. Get y'all out. Smoke's kind of running low. Jago gets more oh, pine There's some. Cones. There's some. There you go. So I just need a little blow. All right, put this one back in. Yeah. Last spacer. So it's nice and tight. All right, watch out, boo, I got it. It's so hard to do with one hand. So. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this whole thing is tight. What I do have in there now is a, uh, there's a spacer right here. So that the whole, they don't need the whole box. They just need kind of this portion right now. So this is a divider I have, so they can't go back mm -hmm. here. Um, and what I did is I have a secret, secret hole in here. If I remove these guys, you'll see actually down here is uh, where the, they come in to feed. And uh, the divider, stops right here there's a wall like right here so they can't go any further back yeah that's it